Have you ever wondered what happens in the ground to the plants that you divide? Last week I was dividing up a whole bunch of hostas and donating them to the Ronald McDonald House Fund. And I ended up with some small pieces of hosta. And at first I was just going to pitch them. But I thought, I bet these guys grow. And I got to thinking, how do they grow? And what actually happens underground when you do that? And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now I'm not suggesting you do this. But it does tell you a lot about how plants grow to see this process in action. So I have two pieces here. As you can see, there's not much left. This one has no leaves. This one has a few leaves and almost no roots. So this piece of hosta has a few leaves coming. It has very few roots. It has one here and a couple little ones here. But most of the tuber down here is cut off. This is just an old stem from last year and I'll leave that on. But you can see there's not much to this plant. The other one has no leaves whatsoever. It has a bit better root system. You can see the tuber was sliced here and here. So most of that tuber growth is gone. But it does have a new growth here and another one starting here. I'm pretty sure this will grow into a full-size plant. So I'm going to pot them up and then we'll see what they do. When I grow garden plants in soil, I like to use mostly my native soil. But I will put in a bit of perlite maybe, or some peat moss, just to lighten it a little bit. But my plants have to learn to live in my soil, so if they don't like this, there's no point keeping them in pots. Fill the pot halfway, take the first one and put it in. Now I'm going to bury it a little deeper than normal for a hosta. If I don't do that, it's just going to fall out of the pot. Now the other side has a nice root system. So we'll just take some of this soil out on this side. Get the roots in nice and deep. This new growing tip will leave above the soil line. A bit of water, and I'll put it in part shade. And I'll bring you back in four to six weeks to see what's going on underground. It's been five weeks since I planted up these bits of hosta, and they're doing pretty good. The piece with the leaves now has three leaves. This original one was damaged when we were dividing the plant. And of course, this sort of thing won't heal itself. There are a couple options here. You could pull this leaf off, and I see a lot of gardeners doing that, but I don't do that. I look at the leaf and ask myself an important question. Is this leaf harming the plant or is it beneficial to the plant? Well, it's nice and green, so it's photosynthesizing. It's making food for the plant. Why would you remove it? Just because the leaf has some damage and maybe doesn't look great to us, doesn't mean that you have to take the leaf away. There's a little bit of damage here and the leaf is a little yellow, but it's still quite green. Nothing wrong with that leaf. And it started making a new one. So this piece actually looks pretty healthy. The other piece, it had no leaves whatsoever, but it did have a couple new sprouts coming. Well, that new sprout has turned into three leaves, and there's still a sprout at the bottom coming. Now, if we have a look at this leaf, it's not shaped correctly. It hasn't grown right. So the leaf started growing, and then it probably had trouble getting enough nutrients and enough water. Remember that this piece had very little root system. And this is what you can expect. When a leaf is not developing correctly, it will look a little crippled. But again, it's perfectly functional. There's nothing wrong with this leaf, and it's helping the plant grow and right now it's making food so the roots can grow better. This is the last leaf that's growing and you can tell that because it's coming out of the center here and it looks pretty good normal shaped leaf. We'll come back in fall and then I'll dig them up and we'll have a look and see what's going on underground. It's early October and it's time for a fall update. As you can see the plant is doing quite well above ground but what's happening underground? Let's have a look. You can see the plant has made a really nice root system. In fact, some of the roots have come right out the side of the pot. Those are some nice looking roots. This is a piece where the tuber was split off very badly. 
The tuber itself hasn't really grown, but it's got lots of roots, and you'll notice that some of these roots are quite thick. That's a very healthy plant. This is the piece that had a bit of a tuber left. It's got two leaves. It's got some really nice eyes coming here. In fact, I count four new eyes coming. A good root system. Again, very healthy plant. If you put these in the ground, in a few years, you'll have a plant this big. As you've seen in this little demonstration, every little piece of tuber can be used to create a new plant. In no time at all, you've got a great root system and a healthy plant to put in the garden. If you want to become a better gardener, it's really important to understand plants and how they grow. And a really good way to do that is to have a look at my new book, Plant Science for Gardeners. There's a link to that right here.